Koronadan yakınlarını kaybeden Sharon Stone, bir katile oy vermeyin. Ünlü oyuncu Sharon Stone, 5 milyondan fazla vakanın kaydedildiği Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nde yeni tip koronavirüs COVID-19 tablosunu kendi ailesinden örnekler vererek anlattı. Ünlü oyuncu, Instagram hesabında paylaştığı videoda, ablası ve eniştesinin koronavirüs nedeniyle hastanede yattığını ve durumlarının ağır olduğunu söyledi. Stone, kendi ailesinden büyük annesi ve vaftiz annesini koronavirüs nedeniyle kaybettiğini anlattı. Stone, Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nde koronavirüsün boyutlarını anlatarak, oy verin çağrısı yaptı ve ne yaparsanız yapın bir katile oy vermeyin dedi. Hi. I want to talk to you about compassionate integrity versus politics and greed. As many of you know, I posted about my sister being in the hospital in a COVID room and that she has lupus and she's fighting for her life. I didn't let you know that her husband, Bruce, is also in a COVID room in the same ward fighting for his life and that they stayed at home as long as they could. I want to tell you a little bit about why. In Montana, where they live, you can't get tested unless you're symptomatic, and then you don't get your test results for five days. Also, the people that they came in contact with, like my mother, who's had two heart attacks, five stints and a pacemaker in the last five months, can't, couldn't get a test because she wasn't symptomatic, even though she could have been the asymptomatic contact that gave them COVID. The nurses in the hospital that are taking care of them can't get tested because they don't have tests to test them with. Those nurses are risking their lives and cannot get tested. The stress, the strain, the exhaustion that's happening in that hospital is met with the conflict around the courthouse where people are carrying guns and saying that it's their freedom not to have to wear a mask. This is the situation in Montana where the governor, Steve Bullock, is not returning my calls, where the health department where I continuously call is hanging up on me. This is the state of affairs in the middle of our country, where you, the people in the middle of our country, are at great risk of dying from COVID. They keep saying that the risks are so small and that you might not die and that it'll be fine but I'm telling you what's going on with my family. My grandmother died of COVID and my godmother died of COVID. My sister and her husband are fighting for their lives and my sister is not doing well. They couldn't give her the remdesivir until she went to the hospital because that's the law there. And there was no one to help them while they were at home alone because there are no kind of nurses that can come to the house there because there's no test for them. When they say there are tests for everyone, they're lying. When they say there are tests even for the nurses in the hospitals, they're lying. People are dying and fighting for their lives because there's nothing but lies. And because the people at the governor's houses, the people at the health departments, are simply so overwhelmed that they're not answering the phones, they're hanging up, and they're not returning calls. This is the state that we're in. The only thing that's going to change this is if you vote. And if you vote for Biden and if you vote for Kamala Harris. And the reason that's going to happen is because with women in power, we will fight for our families. We will fight for people to live and we will fight for people to get tested because the only countries that are doing well with COVID are the ones that have women in leadership. Please vote and please, whatever you do, don't vote for a killer. Thank you.